Hi guys, I'm Neelam Gill and this is my go-to makeup look when I'm not working. If I want to try look cute, this is what I do myself, but I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> I'm not a professional. This is just what I've picked up and what works for me. Right now I have a breakout. You can see right here, hormonal breakout, time of the month, girl problems. I start with cleansing my face and I like this cleanser from Sarah Chapman. I like it in the morning because it's really fresh and I like it when I'm finished shooting because it melts all my makeup off because I don't really like to use wipes because I feel like it pushes the product into my skin. I also try to rub my face in an upward motion. This sounds weird but Sarah tells me to do this to prevent wrinkles. She's like you should never drag your face down. So I do this. Next, if I have free time, I love to do a mask. This is my favorite sheet mask, it's from Sarah again. It's a 3D moisture infusion mask. Kind of looks crazy when I'm on the plane and I just have this mask on my face and people are looking at me weird. But my skin gets very, very dehydrated from flying. So I like to use this on the plane. <laughs> okay, what I do next is I just rub the excess product in my skin. I mean, I never had bad skin my whole life, but actually, I'm 24 now. Last year, last summer, I literally got acne. People don't believe me when I say it, because I'm a model and they just see my pictures from shoots or red carpets, but I really, I had breakouts like here, here, my chin, my forehead, and it was really like deep cystic acne. And now my skin's only just getting back to normal, but I've definitely been more careful. Like I've cut dairy out my diet, I don't drink alcohol anyway, but I'm really careful on set as well because people are just constantly touching your face all day. Now, I like to put a little oil on my skin. I'm not gonna use too much because this is really rich, but now <laughs> I have this kind of weird device. <laughs> Apparently it's good for lymphatic drainage, but I love it because it's really relaxing. And if I'm flying or if I have a big red carpet and I just want my face to be snatched and my cheekbones to be popping, I like to use this. I really like this moisturizer because it's pretty lightweight. I have this little eye cream. I like that you don't have to scoop in the pot yourself and put it on your eye. It's a really nice applicator. Um, it's crazy because I have really dark circles. I'm Indian, it's genetic, it is what it is. I also always use SPF every day. I feel like some SPF, again, clogs up your skin. I feel like it's really nice to get a special one for your face. Especially with my skin tone, a lot of SPFs will just leave that weird white ashy residue that no makeup could save, whereas this one is actually good for me. Wait, I forgot one step. Before I start my makeup, I do a little lip scrub. This has nearly ran out, guys. <laughs> um, but I use it every day. I really like this because it's so grainy. I know some people find that a bit intense, but I just love to get in there. As you can see, I'm scrubbing my lips for like two minutes now. Then I'm gonna put on some lip balm just while I do my makeup because I'm obsessed with having nice lips. My first step is foundation. I actually use this Fenty Beauty. So my shade is Pro Filter 240. And it's a, it's a matte foundation, but I don't mind that because I get kind of oily around my T-zone. It's crazy, because when I was growing up, I could never find my foundation shade. And when I was growing up, I definitely couldn't afford these products, first of all. I would go to the, like, you know, Boots or the local drugstore, and all my friends would be able to buy, like, foundation and all these products, and I would just stick to mascara or, like, a lip gloss because nothing would be in my shade and I would feel really left out and upset. And now I feel so lucky that through modeling I've worked with brands where I've like been the first Indian model for and people can look at me in a campaign and feel like they're represented in the mainstream media because growing up I didn't feel that way. I also used the matching concealer to this just because I bought them together. Um, but this is in the shade sand. What I do is I like warm it up on my hand first um, Because I saw Rihanna do this on YouTube, so I'm just doing it myself. I literally just use this like a crayon and Put it where I need to 
Now for powder, I just powder where I concealed so it lasts through the day and my red spots don't try and pop through. I use Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> Tap off the excess. I'm gonna apply it on my breakout that I just concealed, around my mouth, under my eyes a little bit. For highlight, I like to apply quite a lot. Next up is blush and I personally love blusher. I don't know if it's because I'm always tired, but I feel like it just injects some life into my skin. And this is my favorite blush from NARS in the shade Orgasm. If I do wanna like kinda look cute for a little dinner, I will just put a little something on my eye and I really like this Tom Ford eyeshadow. It's a cream shadow. You can apply it with your fingers. If I'm traveling, I don't even bring a brush with me. I'll just dab it on with my finger, but I have the matching brush today, so I'll use that. With my finger, I just like kind of pull it up to create the shape. This is what Wendy taught me, Wendy Rowe. She was a makeup artist for Burberry. It's like the first makeup artist I ever worked with. And when I first, first worked with them, they didn't even have a foundation shade in my color. And Wendy used to mix them and have her own little special one for me. Um, but because she was a head makeup artist, she ended up like expanding the shade range, which I think is amazing. So moments like that make me really proud in my career because I feel like I'm making a difference. It's not just like I'm being known for taking a photo. I feel like this is actually making a positive change. So now I have this glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm gonna use the shade Summer. This is just for a little pop. I always, always use a lash color. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. Give it a few squeezes. <laughs> so many times my eyes have been pinched. At this point, my eyes are just like bulletproof. I'm gonna use this YSL mascara. I just like it because I like the brush and also I always get like a super black mascara. I think I have dark features, I kind of need it. When I'm not working, I just wanna look really fresh and natural and I only apply it to the top. Now for brows. My brows, I'm really precious over even though they're kind of bushy and crazy right now but um, I get them threaded so I've done it my whole life it's kind of part of my um, culture I guess on a daily basis I use this Glossier boy brow and it's tinted even though I grew up in the UK um, and I'm British I'm born here my mum was born here my dad was born here I feel very connected to my culture and I feel very proud of where I'm from and I feel lucky to have grown up with certain traditions. My nanny, that's like grandma in Punjabi, um, sometimes like she'd send me to school with all, like all this food that she's made, like a roti and like, I'd be like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. But now I've grown up, I'm so grateful. I'm so proud of my roots. When I first started modeling, my nanny, we didn't tell her for the longest that I was modeling. When I told her as a model, I told her, you know, I'm the first Indian model for Burberry and I did this like interview on TV and I did a documentary and she watched it and that's when she knew it was legit and it wasn't a scam or anything. Um, but it was so cute because she goes to the temple every day and she would tell all of her friends at the temple like, you know, my granddaughter's modeling. She's the first model for Blueberry. Like, yes, you know, Blueberry, she's the first India model for the brand and like none of us had the heart to tell her that it was Burberry so to this day she thinks it's Blueberry but to me that's even cooler. Okay now I'm gonna do lips. For me it's really hard to find a good shade for my lips because I feel like a lot of nudes don't suit me, they make my skin look really ashy um, so I kind of have to go for a more pinky browny colour and I'm gonna use this lip liner from NYX. I kind of overline my lip a little bit, just a little bit. I'm gonna use this lipstick. It's kind of busted, sorry guys. But um, it's Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl. I love this color. Next, I am gonna use a little bit of lip gloss. This is from Fenty. It looks really bright, but on my skin tone, this is very neutral. Um, it's in the shade Fussy. I'll just put a little bit there. The last step I'm doing is I'm adding more bronzer. I know it seems kind of crazy, but I just feel like I need to warm up my skin. It's funny because when I was growing up, especially being Indian, a lot of people were kind of 
ashamed of their skin tone and I feel like that's because in my community, especially in India, skin lightening is such a big industry. I'm the complete opposite. I want my skin to look more tan and darker but there's a portion of our community that still believes that like fair skin is beautiful and I feel like everyone's beautiful, diversity is beautiful. I always end with this Fix Plus spray. It's nice and refreshing, so. Now for my hair. My hair, this is my natural texture. This is like a little argan oil I use. It's from Got To Be. This was literally like four pounds, um, but I love it so much. And I just put a little bit on my hand, rub it together, smooth my hair out like this. Put it through the roots. So I just have this little Elnet satin. I think I got this at the airport because it's travel size, but I will spray it just to add a little bit of texture. So guys, this is my final look. Thank you so much for watching and listening to my rambles and my stories.